no intro, we're jumping right into it. Okay, in the Discord, you can look right up top in the workshop, and there is a link to the GitHub. You have to download the mod kit. Once the mod kit is downloaded, you are either going to drag and drop into your already created file, or you are going to create a new file. I'm kind of assuming you have already made some maps and now you just want to know the push map. Go to your custom map tools that are part of the toolkit, go to blueprints, push. We want those blueprints in our UGC file. Drag and drop, copy, because we don't want to get rid of it. Now I gotta open my map. Alright, our map is open. The very first thing we want to do, we don't have to do it in any necessary order, but there are push objective exam examples in the uh, folder. So <clears throat> you can also use the, uh, the examples that are part of the engine, but I'm not using those. I want to use, well, except for the loadout. There's loadout, proxy, and there is uh, the settings, also the bomb. So <clears throat> the things that you have to have, you have to have loadout settings for each team, zero being the attackers, one being the defenders. You have to have push settings, and you have to have spawns and you have to have bombs. So I guess that's four things, regardless. So what I'm looking at right here is I've got my loadout settings. I am changing teams. One is team ID one, one is team ID two, excuse me, zero, sorry, zero and one. Um, and now I'm gonna put a bomb. So I'm not gonna use the bomb from the side panel. I want the push objective example because it has a bomb blueprint already put into it. If it is negative one, obviously that's not going to work. Zero would be your first going up from there. As you can see we have the ID, objective marker, explosion time, and I missed the other two but it's like bomb radius, explosion, and outer radius. So I guess you can take uh, less damage from the outer radius. All right, now I'm gonna drop down some spawns. And let's speed things up a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to drop down and do the settings. You can see in our settings we've got how many attacker tickets there are, what are the max attacker tickets, are the defenders using tickets or do they have unlimited lives, uh, how many tickets per wave, so every time you gain an objective, I think, I think that's how that is. Um, I don't think that waves go along with, I don't know, regardless, I think that tickets per wave are every time you get an objective, you get that many tickets. Change the skins of both team. I think I chose US and NATO, which is kind of hilarious. However, in the bunkers that I have, or the tents, you can choose which uh, World War II helmet you want to put on, and that'll change your skin but I don't have a way to change modern skins. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the grace period are or the locker refresh rate are. I don't know what those mean. Um, so now we need to change the location of our loadout proxies because if you put the loadout proxy Depending on where you put the, and it's hilarious, I accidentally left this sphere in the map and I found the shadow that it was casting. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, if you have like if you had the location of your loadout area on the map, I found this out the hard way yesterday. The loadout area is there. <clears throat> it was really funny. <laughs> it was really funny seeing it there. Um, like the outsides are see-through. You can shoot into it. Um, it was really funny seeing it there. Um, I'm not sure what the override loadout location is. I think that might mean overwrite or not overloading. Overriding it means you can put it with the X Y Z that you put in there. However, if you don't do that and you don't override it, then it's going to be where the little dragon head is. I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay. So here I'm going to go through, and I speed this up too, because in the end I choose to have my players start out with nothing. Um, I chose this to be a hardcore mode, but you can see all the different settings that there are in the loadout settings. Weapon, your primary hand, what's on your back, <coughs> your armor, your health, helmet or no helmet, um, grenades and attachments. So as long as you know the actual designation for the weapons. Like, if you want your character to have a Glock for his sidearm, you would know that it is actually S-O-C-K, sock, and so on and so forth. So if you want your characters, your uh, players to start with certain things, you need to get on the wiki and choose those things. All right, here I am on Sketchfab because I wanted one more bomb objective and I couldn't find it. And I chose those guys right there. Even though it's an FBX, they are all one file. I did not choose that one, but I took a look at it. Um, so even though it's an FBX file, they're all one mesh. And I went ahead and did it anyway. All right, we're all done, we're ready. Save, 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 save. And then build, the way I like to do it is save, build, restart your computer save again sorry save build save again because you have to save your information that you built and then restart the computer fresh start log into steam get it going and immediately go to your pavlov workshop sync data change notes what did i do submit and then my five favorite words that I've ever seen successfully uploaded to the workshop. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. Please like and subscribe and all.